see Lindelof videos, particle motion number four, we have a position function that s of t, the position of our particle at any time, is given by the equation t to the fourth power minus four, t to the third power for t. And the interval that we're looking at is here, because let me just get to the question. The question is to find the maximum acceleration. So we want the maximum acceleration on this interval. So this gets really weird, because what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to end up taking the I'm going to actually find the first derivative, which gives us velocity. Then I'm going to find the second derivative, which gives us acceleration. And then I'm going to take the derivative of acceleration, because we know, we know through first derivative test, that maximums, this is the first derivative test, that maximums, uh, maximums and minimums occur at either endpoints, at here or here, or where we find critical values. And we want max acceleration, so we want the derivative of acceleration. So the first derivative here is 4t cubed minus 12t squared, isn't it? The second derivative, which gives us acceleration, is 12t squared minus 24t. And the derivative of that, the first derivative of acceleration, is 24t minus 24. If you don't mind, and I'll show you why in a minute. I'm going to break this out. It helps me to see things better. So I'm going to factor out 12t. So it's 12t times t minus 2. Isn't that right? I'll show you why I'm doing this in just a second, but that's what I'm going to do. Now I want to know, where is my, what I'm looking for is my critical value, my CV, my critical number. And when I get that, I get t is equal to 1. So now I have... The only critical value we have is t is equal to 1. So now what we're going to do is we want to know, well, what's acceleration at 0? What's acceleration at our critical value of 1? And what's our critical, I'm sorry, what's our value at our other end point, which is 3? So we want acceleration at time is 0, acceleration at time is 1, and acceleration at time is 3. And then we'll just compare them. So a sub 0 right, go to this function here, this is our acceleration function, 0 is, 12 times 0 is 0, so that's 0, isn't it? At 1, makes this 12, and this negative 1, so it gives us negative 12, doesn't it? So, acceleration at 1 is negative 12, well, that's certainly not a max, compared to the, even to the 0, right? And a of 3, I'm going to plug that in up here, 3 minus 2 is 1, 3 12 times 3 is 36, 36 times 1 is 36. So now we know that the maximum acceleration is at is 36, and it happens at t is 3. All right? So I hope this is really helpful. It's really weird because it, it, it's a very weird thing indeed when you take the derivative of acceleration because where do you go from there but we get change in acceleration so hope this video was helpful if you haven't already subscribed please do and your comments of course are always welcome